Alright uh, guys, we reach 635, we're going to fish. Rod's rigged up, you want to show you that because you're just hustling. Snook master there, behind there somewhere. What is it? You're a shrimp. I have one, a new lure trying here, let's get our vibes with it. We're going to try, looking for snook number one, Cavalli, maybe a tap one, Jack Sentin. So we're heading out now, smell on the sand, on the beach. So just to take you back to how I got here, I got up pretty early, made some breakfast and my cup of coffee. The time was just before 3 a.m. I had a 5.45 flight to Tobago. So got up, started to prepare. I'm trying to show you the time there, but you know, my watch kind of fading down you know, on your battery. Reaching the airport, I was chilling. Time there was about 5.20 or so. Oh, just about 10 past 5. Reaching the planes was still dark, thought it was going to be early. And I'm going to sit down on the plane for a little extra. I will already take my window seat, hold her bucket, but small thing, she was looking sleepy, so I'll leave she. Still try to get a little footage of the landing here. Yeah, yeah, not much, but that's all I gotta get through the little corner of the window. And all the window wasn't that clear either. But you know, always thankful to read safe. I'm in Tobago, my favorite place to fish. Touchdown, you have the snook master call, he was now brushing his teeth. So, you know, I walk outside, I have to wait a couple of minutes for him. Yeah, I am just, you know. Telling Tanti thanks for taking my seat. We reach just about after six. Check out the new Tobago sign here. Looking pretty cool. I got a girl footage of it. Um, welcome to Tobago. Love Tobago as I said. We reach. The time is 6.15 on time. Now we're gonna get some fish now. Here's my ride. VIP treatment here guys. Thank you sir. The snook master. Rain coat. No rain falling dog. Rich, rich. The man done have fishing already. No, it's up. One cavalli in the bed this morning. Coming, coming. I hope them cavalli run into the man catch one already. Show them the picture now. I will show you the picture right now. And now reach 615. The man is here exception. Catch a nice cavalli. Check it now. I don't know if you catch it though. I don't know footage. Alright, alright. Catch it. <laughs> Next time you see me, I'll be fishing. Lots of people fishing already, like the hood stuck master caught a cavalli yesterday. They were looking dirty dog. I thought they were Oh, blue water. All the vibes are all in the beach, Okay guys, so we reach. We're going to cast out. Have a new lot to try here today. Rapala. Stuck master done there already. So let's see if we catch anything. Fish on. Alright guys, first walk out. This real change. All here is sand. All here was water. Sand come up all over. Trying out some new shoes here. See how we grip on the rocks. Pretty full scar. This rail change here, boy. Wow. So, not sure how long we'll keep on this low for. Just getting our vibes with it, so I want to give it a try. It hit any bottom, that's why I worry about it. Have a lip on it. And here, rail shallow. Alright guys, quick change of law, for more reliable, so I've caught a few snook on it already. The other law was kind of hitting the bottom, picking up like seaweed, hitting the rocks, so I had a small lip on it. So we'll try this one, I've tried this for 15 minutes, so I'm going to try this one now. Snook master right there, we'll take a walk down the beach after and see how things look. I don't see any signs of fish as of now. 
you never know when a school like a body gets to me. This real change. All here was rocks, now it's just sand. I was here about a month ago. It's amazing how nature could have changed, condition could change. Just like that. What is this? Plum. I call that plum. Hey, plum? No. Yeah, I'm a regular local plum. That kind of tree? Yeah. No way. Type of plum. All here was rocks. Rocks. I, I, I land mine right here. Just rocks. And the sand is covered all over. From here? I land it here. From here? Okay. On the jetty. He swim towards the rock. Yeah, I, I, just amazing how he had changed though. The boy Jilo hook up here hook up here about 10 times. So you can find some laws there. Some birds down there. After breakfast we'll have to check out the microscope. The microscope. Mikey enjoy any life, you know. Fishing every day. I'm tired. I have a little bit of fishing. Yeah. We do a great deal in it. Wait, wait, wait. Catch it right there. Right there? Yeah. Happy day, boy. I throw my rod on the sand. Okay, I think. Happy day, boy. Yeah, only a bit of one. I hate to walk with two rods, you know. Yeah, boy. It's a hard thing. Stick one somewhere and leave it here. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Something no free aiming. Game boy! Nice size to catch boy! Nice size to catch boy! I've only wrong laws for them. I see one boy! Whole thing come out of the water, yes? Nah, they size or no? Like how much? 15. Yeah, yeah, 15, 20. Drop all the whole body. Yeah. Out. Should I bring my big rod, boy? Hey, oh, I had him! I had him! I had him! You serious? Yeah, boy. I had him, boy. Hard to hook with his hard plastic, boy. Yeah, boy. Shit! Nice as well, huh? Yeah, boy! Look, Martha, let's get a bite there. Oh, we have one hard plastic. I see the boil. Man, trying to shrimp now in the middle of the fish school. Soft plastic is the way I believe. Damn, boy! Half tap one, half tap one. Half tap one. I can Activity, guys. I tell you, the bait was here to have activity in the bait. You need to put on a soft plastic. Hey, no. Don't say that. Let the shrimp know you had to kill him. <laughs> Hooking a tap one on hard plastic is very hard. I'll keep them up. We're looking for the Cavalli too. Oh, oh my! 
my goodness. Nej, det får han så av plastik, boy. Men jag kan inte göra det som jag gör, det är en bra sak. Det är en bra sak. Jag ska gå och ställa av plastik. Gå och tagga den tuffa ton. Damn boy, man! Top one! We're warming. Do you? Coming. Knife that you guys have seen quite a few tough ones. But master got hit by one. Looking from a 30 to 50 pound range. Huh? Close? True? Oh my goodness! In his own name, man. Our next one out there. Behind your line. Yeah, it's really a danger zone For real life I thought I just caught this guy right here He's with the fish eating A pretty big sprat if you ask me Check it out, black back, so I know what to use next time. I was a master, caught the cavalier on a bit just like that. That's pretty good. Release him. Bro. That's a good bait, bro. I have one, but the back blue. So maybe I might change to the black. Back. Something hit TV.
filhados da cavalo, hein? Assim. A Lone Ranger. Hey guys, morning session done. One tap on hit. Not really hook up, but nothing else. We saw plenty tap on, but still not taken. All these fellas are still waiting here for the Kavali, but no sign of them. We're gonna try another spot now. See how it goes. Fish on. New zone, guys. New zone. Looking for some snook and Kavali. Zone looking good. Tide might be a little low. If you hook our fish, that's how we landed. That's the problem. Yeah, it'll have potential, but that's how we landed in fish, that's why I stood you. Now gonna be pressure. New spot guys, we're looking for barras now. No snook, no crevals, so we're searching for some barrels. Big more like this. Yeah, boy, we're tight coming up fast, boy. Me. Real bait here. Yeah. Real bait. Small bait. Small fish. <laughs> what the hell is this? Tara? Friggin' suppers, boy. <laughs> Damn it. Well, guys, we catch our fish. First fish on the Tobago adventure for me. A decent size suppers, though. Hook in the back. Could life beat you out for a bar. Oh, shit. First time I ever catch our suppers in Tobago. <laughs> Conditions good though, conditions good. I can all start. Barra on here guys, barra on here. No telling Ming. They sit right in the shadow land, that's what you do. You miss a mad jump you make there boy. Oi! <laughs> we get one, yes? Hey, he wasn't coming off. We get one, Barra! Nice little Barra! We get one! Oh, oh, take, a, the take a look at it. Uh -huh. We get one 
I think he was getting away there, no man. Yeah, boy, he was never getting away. Where's that man? Two pong, one pong. Yeah, one and a half. Yeah, PB bar, I mean. That's all, I'm going to Oh, Lord, man. Oh, Lord, man. He's a rebel. Nice one. Shit. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Minga, sorry about no picture. Oh, boy. I got a picture. Another follow there guys, nice little barra again. Came right up into the shallow but didn't take me off. Oh! Bring a real micro. You can probably pull you can probably pull on a small alloy right here still. You real small. Small like your tube. Oh I catch you, shit. That's not, that's not, yeah. Huh? Yeah, okay, you know it's half fish here. That one was real small, I was like, what catch you? What are you? What are you doing? Did you see the water? Yeah, I see it. Is it still there? You see that? You see how big he is? Yeah, he's small, real small. I love bar, right? You can catch all that with small, also. I love, I'm, I'm in mean, the bar, right? I feel you're a fella, go kill them here. Yeah, This microbar. Make the micro chase, man. Get a bite. The microbar, I could have chased it, man. There's a mullet in the corner there. Right to the edge, so master gonna try and hit him with a piece of wood. Yeah, this spear him, boy, you can't hit him like that. I can't snag him on the You should have spear him. Spear him, spear him. Coming right here, boy. You right aiming. Put it, put it like a spear and he trying to hit him on your head. What? Yeah. Friggin bamboo hollow. 50%. Alright guys, alright guys, we try and we catch one barra. I got about five other follows, but that was real small. So master now change out the tube blow to pull on a smaller. Was bigger than the barra. Yeah. So you go on, check it, check out the shoot, check out the shoot. Come on, get out. Check him on now, check him on now. Stop master fishing you're like he's enjoying while you're fishing. If you're not enjoying fishing, sorry, you're not enjoying yourself while you're fishing. Where's he Why point? are you fishing? I fully agree with some master. That's why I come on this trip here to do is just to enjoy yourself fishing. The catch is a bonus. Um, so, I mean, we don't catch two fish already. I support the barras. Hoping to catch more later, but we're still going. We're trying. Maybe we walk back. Hopefully, we have one more barra. And hopefully, later we have a valley or a snook. We want to tap one. We're trying. We just. Fishing is just about enjoyment, catching is the bonus. So I'll keep you updated guys. I wish I had that bar bite on the camera. I had on the camera all the time. Switch it off and then the bar take. Fly all the water when you take. So it's crazy. Anyway, we'll keep fishing. For sure. This boy, I see what I tell you dog. That was a fish dog in tracks on the coat. That one has some size dog. With the ass. <laughs> I know that, I know that, man. You must get hit. Shit, boy. Am I guessing I pause with that too?
Fight him! Fight him! Fight him! Where's that? Where's that? Where's that? Fire! Fire! <laughs> dog, I said it's friggin' rough, all that dog. I get on, man. <laughs> Ming, you see what I friggin' tell you, boy? I was going to chips now, shit! Second freaking cast on the second bite, just. Oh, Ming has! I was going to get a fight here. Yeah? Yes, on the land, him. But you hook, you know what you can get. You want to hook him or you just leave him on the low? Huh? No, no. master with that barrel! No switch up that low, guys. He changed the tube. That white and no pond is rapala. Just now. Look, master out of barras. Check me shirt here, guys. Snooky, well done. You want me to see him? Yeah. Nice little barras. Yeah? Yeah. Take on my. You can get the whole on you. Whole are you? Yeah, doggy, yeah, good. We could really see her, guys. Nice barrels. Once I come when we caught. Let's revive him a little bit. He's as strong. Yeah, yeah. One call your grandfather. Oh, Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, yes. Yeah, You're welcome, man. Where's that? Snapper. Snappers, modern on the artificial. Look at his size. No, no, no. This fish is wicked. Uh. This fish is wicked, dog. The bait is as big as the fish, literally. Wow. You can get some decent sized ones too. Yeah, I know. I've got them before. Look at that. Ming. <laughs> Here's our boss. <laughs> we cooking this fella. Dot your eyes. You see the bait, way? Yeah, boy. But I see that fish can't be on. Master on, stuck master on. Woo. Nice little barras. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want to swim over a hole? Yeah, just, oh, just time out a little bit. Let me make one more swim and I'll grab him. Nice little one, barras. Alright, guys. Oh, yeah, you don't let him bite me, you know, doggy. I'm going to land this fish for the snook master here somehow. Okay, that's up there. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Hold on. Oh yes! Ming. Yes, our boss. Alright guys, next little barra for Snookmaster. Nice fellow. Hopefully. Hopefully he survives and swims also. He'll get hooked. He'll good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fish strong. Snookmaster was a monster garfish. Zofi. Damn, this thing big. <laughs> I don't want to get a bite from here. <laughs> Think you're gonna bite me or me? Calm down there, buddy. That's the biggest thing you're catching for today. That is a monster, guys.
So after that monster gas took master caught another barracuda, a nice one, the biggest one he caught for the day. Nice fella, check him out here. Didn't get any footage on the GoPro because the GoPro was overheating and the battery was just about dead. But just got this little bit of footage here. Caught him and gave him a nice release. Really nice one. Got a nice little fight, but just missed the video. Alright guys, evening session time. Now it's about quarter to five. So we have about an hour, maybe about bit an hour and 20 minutes of fish. Had to be in the airport for around 6 to the latest. So I have now until I get that. Who is to catch one fish? Look, master, tell me about you taking a swim in some beach. I come to one day to fish, stay in for a few days, so I spend my time fishing. You come in about half an hour, you see? Hopefully, I catch a fish by then. If not, go one more fish to finish up the day. Start off tough, we catch an, uh, nice, some nice barrels. Not too big, but some nice action. Some fish up with a cavalli or stuff right now. So I'm going out there, go and try them. Just over our water fish. See what could happen. Fish on. Okay, definitely see the tide has risen tremendously. The water ain't looking that rough. Well, I think I could still stand up here without much issue. Last time was a lot worse than I was standing up. Oh, that one was a little high. Looks like it's a fish swimming on top here. It's crab. Hopefully, no one will bite me. I'm a big toe. Here it goes. Looking much better than the fish now. As you can see, looking snooky. Real sand, though. all the rocks are gone. I've seen garfish. Lots of garfish. We don't want no garfish. My eyes watching down there to see if I see any cavalli running. But my sister said I was running yesterday. So I make sure I keep my foot steady on this slippery rock with these waves. So I just kept casting and casting with the hope of bouncing up a big snook or maybe for the cavalli to run in. You know, fishing this spot, your expectation and anticipation is always high. You never know what could happen. But on this day, the fish just weren't around. We fished in the morning, evening conditions were looking a lot better, but there's still no fish to fall. Still pretty fun though, love fishing in this place. I did get to meet Angie and family, check them out here. Angie, I know I can just meet Alright, nice luck. Yeah. Good luck bro! Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to the people in Ecuador. Hola, Los Ecuadores. Ecuador is Central America, right? Central, South. Okay, mix up. Yeah, Central, right? How about you, dog? You swim long, boy. You swim long, boy. So Snookmaster eventually showed up after taking a good swim. He came, it was about maybe like half past five around this time. Both of us fished together, searching for fish. I mean, he's the lucky guy at this spot. He was there the day before. Cavalli running like crazy around the same time. This day, nothing happened. And check out this wedding proposal going on here. That's what the guy was passing before, just now. I think it's a pretty cool spot. I mean, if you have to make a sunset wedding proposal, it's a very picturesque area. So this guy get through, get through. I think she's, I believe she said yes. Because everybody is happy and smiling, so all good vibes. We did see a couple of big cavalli, or one or two, not a school, so that's why we end up coming across to this side. In the end, no hits. That's fishing. And now's a monster cavalli. Serious? Alright guys, last five minutes here. We're really hoping the cavalli swimming. We saw one or two outside there. Took a run for them but they didn't disappear. It's not like there wasn't a run this, this time. Conditions have changed. We're hoping for the cavalli but nothing. We have stuck Master Haji and family there. Still a decent trip overall. We caught a couple of fish. We were really hoping for a nice snook of cavalli. Didn't happen. But that's just how the fishing goes. Bing. I throw right by one boy. No boy, I love blind throw, you know. Well, I ain't know. Man, I just think I blind throw there and I should jump like two feet behind me, you know. 
Aqui é esse aqui, 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 esse esse Yeah, I see the, I see the pelican, I throw on, I saw my line hit the water. You jump behind it. Yeah, Guys, we tried, we tried. Time just about over. Some cavalry, no jumping day. Make a cast at it, but nothing. But that's the end of today. So I was 10 past six. I had to go and take a bait and reach in here for We tried. Yes, the fishing come out. Hope you still enjoyed this video. Keep fishing, always keep fishing. Love to be good fishing. Fish on.